What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Uh, let me just give you a little bit of an update. Uh, I rewatched the video with Tyree Nichols. And let me tell you that you should not watch the video. If you have not already, and I know that a lot of you, when you tell them not to do something, they wind up going out and doing it anyway. I'm gonna just tell you, do not watch the video. And I'm gonna give you a couple reasons why you shouldn't watch the video. First and foremost, I reviewed the video because as a content creator, I think before I start to speak on something specifically, then I need to be the most informed about it. Um, I waited a couple days after the body cam footage and everything else came out as far as the different reports. I read the different media outlets, perspectives and things like that about it. Um, it was gruesome. There's no other way for me to frame it other than to say it was absolutely gruesome. Um, I did do a video where I reviewed what was going on and then I gave my honest reaction as a result of it uh, on the Millionaire Morning Show over the weekend because it was important for us to be able to address it. But let me say that if you do not watch that review, I wouldn't be mad at you, right? Because I don't want that to be your impression of what life is like for the majority of what it is that we got to deal with, right? I don't want law enforcement to be painted a certain type of way that's not an accurate reflection of what the overwhelming majority of what law, enfor law enforcement is. Um, I don't want you to be desensitized uh, by seeing this type of stuff and then for that to be your new norm. I don't want for you to have false expectations that that is what your life is going to be like or that is what you have to protect yourself against because I don't believe that that's what America represents and I don't think that that's what uh, we deal with as citizens in the United States of America on a regular basis. Uh, it is by all accounts and every way, shape and form is no way to frame it as to justifying the actions of these police officers. And I think that it was straight up murder. I think it was not only murder, it was premeditated murder. Um, it says that they're facing about 60 years, but I'm not sure how they're not facing a life sentence as, as a result of it. I think that they tried to cover it up. And if you are from where I'm from, or you're from the environments where we come from and all over America. I'm not uh, unique just because I'm from the inner city of Detroit. Uh, you're, you're not unique because you're from um, LA or Philadelphia and Chicago and all of these other places. We're all, the overwhelming majority of us are from environments that uh, are set up for us to fail. And I think the biggest takeaway from this thing is we have to learn to police ourselves and we have to figure out how to fix our own households and then fix our own neighborhoods and then ultimately fix our own communities. And then also participating on a local level as far as what's happening in our environment. Don't wait for something to continue to happen. Don't wait for somebody to get murdered. Don't wait for... Um, you not to or for them to uncover some kind of fraud with an elected official or something like that before you start to get involved what you ultimately see and this is not the the one end all be all solution to solving for problems within the black community or in the hoods in general local elections are among the least participated in from inner city communities right you don't know who your city council is you don't know you don't know who's making the laws. You don't know who your judges are until you're standing in front of them and they're trying to sentence you to a million years. You don't know who your chief of police is. You don't know who your treasurer is. You don't know who any of these people are. You don't know who your local government branches are. You don't have a relationship with what goes on in your community. You refuse to call the police until something happens to your your, your family in particular. We have a no snitching policy and all of this other type of stuff. And again, I believe that these officers, these rogue officers, I do not believe even for a second that this is their first time participating in this egregious type of behavior. It's just the first time that they were caught because now we have body cameras and things like that. At some point, at some point, there has to be a collective effort to do the thing that's in your best interest and when everybody collectively does the right thing, we all benefit as a community, right? This type of stuff does not happen where I'm from or where I'm at, not where I'm from or where I'm currently at. Um, and I think that is largely because accountability is on the front 
front of the table because we do have a relationship with the people that serve our communities. We do uh, participate in the local elections. We are familiar with who who the chief of police is and you know who's the the uh, the township supervisor is and things like that. And eventually, um, once my daughter get past a certain age and once they build a specific building that I keep my eye on down here in, in downtown Detroit, eventually I'll move back into the city, which is one of the reasons why I'm so adamant about fostering relationships and continuing to build up my community and participating in my community before I officially move my permanent residence back into the city of Detroit. But let me reiterate again, it's very important that you do not watch this video. Do not, and I know some of you are gonna say, well, I need to be informed of what's going on and all of this other type of stuff. I'm telling you what's going on. It's bad, it's egregious. These dudes need to be locked up. And I don't even really understand um, how a lot of the local leaders and national leaders and those that had so much to say about everything that was going on during the pandemic and all of the protests are not participating and have nothing to say whatsoever about this situation when this is quite possibly, in my opinion, one of the most monstrous, ugly, horrible things that I believe that's ever been caught on camera. I mean, the guy called out for his mother and clearly anybody with any good sense and anybody that's been policed in the community or anybody that's participated or seen any kind of thug activity or gang activity or anything, you can see he wasn't that. It was no reason at all for this man to die. It was no reason at all for this man to get hit, let alone die. It was no, no reason at all from what I could see for this man to be pulled out of his car the way that he was pulled out of his car. And he ran obviously because he was scared and he was trying to get over into his mother's house. And so again, I implore you not to watch the video. I implore you to stay away and don't get desensitized by subjecting yourself to some of the most egregious things that's ever been caught on camera. I implore you to participate more and be proactive so that we, we don't have these problems going forward. And it's not just advocating and protesting. And as a matter of fact, I actually think that protesting is stupid, but maybe I'll talk more about that on the Millionaire Morning Show. Um, but we gotta do better. And before again, you can ask for anything from anybody else, we first have to fix our own backyard and get the beam out of our own eye before you start pointing fingers at everybody else. I love you, I appreciate you. Uh, I'd love to get your insight and feedback inside of the comments. Make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. I just did a live web webinar yesterday that is chalk filled with so much information that you can use in order to level up when it comes to content creation and extracting all of the resources and money out of these platforms. Um, also tap into the Alpha Juice Company. All of the discount codes is in the description. Uh, T. Chanley, 30% off your first order plus a free gift. I love you. I appreciate you. We got to do better. And no matter how much we need to do, don't subject yourself to that video. It's bad.